we were just kids that didn't have um, any real kind of parenting, <laughs> you know? And uh, so we were in all kinds of, um, you know, like uh, street culture and like running around on the streets and, and this kind of stuff. <laughs> My name's Cleon Peterson, I'm a painter, and, and I make sculptures, and I was born in Seattle, Washington in 1973. My uh, parents did a lot of different things. Um, they didn't just have one advocation, but my mother was a dancer, she danced in the ballet, and then uh, my father was a guy that kind of worked on houses. and. Um, fixed houses up and, and this kind of thing. And then uh, my grandfather was a poet. I have a brother too, who's an artist as well. He's a um, photographer. His name's Lee Ladere. He has a different last name than I do. Early on, we lived in a, this really large house and um, my parents were into the arts and they were really young when they had me. And, they, and uh, this house was kind of a meeting point where everybody would come that was like in the theater and making films and doing music and they'd have like these big extravagant parties there and uh, this is kind of I think one of the um, times where I was introduced to art and just this kind of uh, environment of creative people that were all around me. So we grew up around um, artists and painters and we had a babysitter when we were young that was a filmmaker and she would take us to uh, I remember when I was really young being taken to to movies um, like uh, Blade Runner and uh, Das Boot and um, uh, Stanley Kubrick movies and all this kind of stuff when I was a little kid so and then they, there was this interesting thing that these guys did that was like a Seattle new wave cinema that was this like, uh, you know, like the new wave movement, like post-punk. I was really sick as a child too, and uh, I had asthma and was hospitalized, you know, like maybe one week out of the month, like all the time, missed school all the time. And uh, so, when, back then, in the 70s, I guess, you'd just sit in a bed in the hospital and have nothing to do. And so, uh, and, and then sit at home because you weren't going to school because you were sick. So I started drawing. I guess I might have always been drawing, but I, I mean, I just had a lot of isolated time where I was by myself. So I drew a lot. And uh, this is where it all kind of started for me. I was obsessed with drawing, like uh, I was, um, it was not, it wasn't normal. <laughs> like even at that point, I mean I still draw all the time, but at that point I was drawing, you know, every day and for hours and hours every day, just working on this thing. And uh, I mean, I think maybe because uh, I was so sick as a, as a kid that this, I saw the making art as like a, a way for me to um, to uh, do something meaningful with my life because I was confronted with like uh, mortality. Do you know what I mean? Like I was sick enough that I could die potentially. So, so I thought this was the way that I was going to um, make something where I'd be around maybe after after I was dead. <laughs> Which is funny when you're 15 thinking about this kind of stuff. Seattle's very small and like regional and like little. And I thought there's got to be, maybe it's, there's more interesting place to study. So uh, I did a few shows and stuff and made more art and um, just kind of weird little shows like at local colleges and stuff they'd give me the room to do a show or like at 
I did a show at a local church, at a Unitarian church once. But it was an ambitious show. It was like, uh, when I was 15, it was like 50 paintings. <laughs> so, I mean, it's kind of crazy. But, uh, and the paintings back then were very different than they are now. They were like, uh, I, I was interested, I liked the Fauve painters. <laughs> and I would paint with like a lot of color and uh, just trying to, just experimenting all over the place and trying to kind of find my voice, you know? I dropped out of, of this uh, school in, um, in Seattle and then went to school instead and in, uh, I got a scholarship to go to school in Brooklyn at Pratt Institute. So I headed out there 